It's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics on V103. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Trending Topics being brought to you by PNC Bank for the Achiever and you. A lot of Kanye going on. Strap yourself in. Let's start with the controversial rap has been submitted uh, legal documents in response to a lawsuit filed by photographer Daniel Ramos following the incident where he was defending himself and attacked the paparazzi in L.A. International Airport in July. Apparently, Kanye believes the attack, which was caught on tape, was justified because, quote, his safety was in immediate danger. (laughs) His camp also claims in response to the perceived paparazzi that was, quote, reasonably necessary in his self-defense. Kanye's running with Ramos also hasn't been hot water with the law. The L.A. City attorney had uh, filed misdemeanor charges of battery and attempted grand theft over the incident. He will face a judge on October 10th. What that hasn't stopped his creative side. He is uh, apparently lending a hand to veteran single Charlie, last name Wilson, Charlie revealed that he and Kanye have already started working on his new album. While Charlie admits Kanye is often controversial, he believes the musical genius is one of the greatest rapper producers of this generation. He isn't the only big name who wants to team up with Charlie. He says Pharrell Williams and Justin Timberlake are also looking to jump on, uh, on that album. Charlie expects to have his new thing out in the spring of 2014. Can't wait for that. Kanye took the time to sit down and reflect on his music career and where he's at and, and where he's reached. And here's what he had to say about his music. I've reached a point in my life where my Truman Show boat has hit the painting. And I've got to a point that Michael Jackson did not break down. I have reached the glass ceiling. He said he's reached the glass ceiling. Then in a more animated Kanye than we happen to see on uh, Chris Jenner's show, he started to sound like Kanye again when talking about rap and hip-hop and things like that. Rap the new rock and roll. Oh. We culture. Rap is the new rock and roll. We the rock stars. <laughs> It's been like that for a minute. We the real rock stars, and I'm the biggest of all of them. Wow. Apparently, uh, you're not, Kanye. According to the Forbes highest paid hip hop artist, let's start with number one, Diddy. 50 million in 2012. That is a very good look. Jay Z in number two with 43 million. Dr. Dre with 40 million. Nicki Minaj in at number four. 29 million. Uh, where is Kanye West? A little bit behind Nikki in number six with 20 million. I noticed some people you're thinking about. Lil Wayne, number seven with 16 million. Ludacris, 12 million. Drake, 10.5. And some of you are just starting to think, didn't 50 used to make a whole lot of money? 50 eases into the list at number 19 with only 7 million. I'm not hating. I ain't making seven million. I'm just saying. Thank you for tuning in to the trending topics. If you miss any of the, this particular conversation, head on over to v-103.com where you can not only listen to it in its entirety, you can also see my not on the Forbes highest paid artist list face. <laughs> Stay tuned, and it turns out I have three things you need to know, and it happens next on the It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook, Twitters, and Facebooks, and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's trending topics. Yeah, that's trending topics. On V103.